Very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and the Sultan of Brunei and Supreme Commander of the Brunei uh, Royal Armed Forces, His Majesty Haji Hassan Al Balqiya yesterday visited the Bahrain Defense Force PDF's Royal Guard accompanied by His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen. They were received by PDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General Zain Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force Staff Colonel Lizainis, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials. At the beginning of the visit, the anthem of Brunei and the Royal Anthem of Bahrain were played.
رجالتكم انصراف خلاص يا رب سي يعيش جلاله الملك المعظم يعيش جلاله الملك المعظم يعيش جلاله الملك المعظم Their Majesties were briefed by His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the duties of the Royal Guard and the future plans to develop it. His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei wrote a message in the Royal Guard's visitor's book in which he expressed pleasure in visiting the BDF's Royal Guard and appreciation for the military demonstrations and exercises he witnessed which reflect the combat capabilities and advanced level reached by the BDF led by His Majesty the King. Commemorative gifts were also exchanged on the occasion.
Their Majesties then witnessed the number of military exercises in which His Highness Sheikh Khalid and His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen participated, performing by the Royal Guard members with accuracy, skill and mastery. His Majesty the King expressed pleasure at receiving the Sultan of Brunei as an honoured guest in one of the edifices of Bahrain's armed forces, hailing the close fraternal relations between the two countries in all fields, especially military and security cooperation for the benefit of the two countries and the security of the region. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for His Highness Sheikh Nasser's fruitful efforts and outstanding leadership of the Royal Guard and commended the participation of His Highness Sheikh Khalid and His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen in the exercise. His Majesty thanked all the brave Royal Guard members for carrying out their national duties with high efficiency and morale in cooperation with the members and weapons of the BDF. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the Sultan of Brunei, His Majesty Haji Hassan Al Bolkiya, in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court. Court Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen. During the meeting, His Majesty the King and His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei reviewed the strong historical relations and ways of boosting bilateral cooperation in various domains. They also exchanged views on issues of mutual concern. His Majesty the King praised the successful visit of His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei, to which will further consolidate bilateral ties. His Majesty commended the role and efforts of His Majesty the Sultan in fostering bilateral relations at all levels. His Majesty the King underlined keenness of the Kingdom to further strengthen relations of cooperation and friendship with Brunei to achieve the aspirations of the leaderships of both countries and their people. His Majesty the Sultan expressed pleasure in visiting Bahrain and meeting His Majesty the King. He thanked His Majesty the King for the gracious welcome and hospitality, expressing keenness on perpetual development of bilateral relations for the benefit of both people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid farewell to the Sultan of Brunei, His Majesty Haji Hassan Al Bolkiya, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen Ibn Sultan Hassan Al Bolkiya, and the accompanying delegation upon their departure from Sakhir Air Base after an official visit to the kingdom during which he met with His Majesty the King. They were also seen off by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and national security advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the minister of the Royal Court, the minister of finance and national economy, the minister of justice, Islamic affairs and Waqf, the minister of education, the minister of information, the PDF chief of staff and the southern governor.
His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadabiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of the official meeting that took place between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of Brunei Dar es Salaam, His Majesty Haji Hassan Al Bolkiya, and welcomed the Sultan of Brunei's successful visit to Bahrain. His Royal Highness instructed ministers to ensure the implementation of the MOUs and agreements signed that aim to enhance bilateral cooperation. The cabinet can congratulated His Majesty the King and the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister, and His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on His Highness's successful completion of the Joint Command and Staff Course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. The Cabinet also congratulated the Bahraini officers who graduated from the course, wishing them continued success. His Royal Highness expressed gratitude for His Majesty's commitment to develop the skills and capabilities of the kingdom's citizens. He also thanked their highnesses and excellencies, members of the royal family, ministers, officials and the people of Bahrain for their congratulations on the occasion. The cabinet reviewed the evaluation of the pilot phase of the government land development program and affirmed the feasibility of its goals of providing units at prices suitable for the beneficiaries of the newly developed financing programs. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to expand the program and implement implement eight additional projects in partnership with the private sector during 2023 to 24. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to hold events and exhibitions that spread awareness on the housing financing services and programs. The cabinet strongly condemned and denounced the storming and vandalizing of the headquarters of its embassy and the residence of Bahrain's ambassador in the Sudanese capital Khartoum. The cabinet considered the act as a serious violation of the rules of international law and diplomatic agreements. The cabinet affirmed the need to halt acts of violence and vandalism in Sudan and to provide full protection for the headquarters of diplomatic missions and civilian facilities. The Cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects regarding the launch of five new e-services in the urban planning platform Tahtid as part of initiatives to re-engineer and digitize urban planning services to facilitate procedures for citizens and investors. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding a draft decision to amend several provisions of the decision to purchase additional virtual years of service to the actual amount of years served for public sector employees. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding Bahrain's contributions to and participations in international organizations. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Kingdom's General Sports Authority and Serbia's Ministry of Sports to strengthen cooperation and exchange expertise in the sports sector. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Municipalities and Agriculture Affairs regarding the acquisition of real estate for public use to provide the necessary spaces for urban development. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Works regarding the second phase of the National Assembly project. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to four proposals submitted by the Representatives' Council. Finally, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. The official visit of the Minister of Interior to the U.S., the participation in the 35th OPEC and non-OPEC ministerial meeting, the participation in the second ministerial conference on social development the participation in the commencement of the election interconnection project between the GCC Interconnection Authority and Iraq, the participation in the second session of the United Nations Habitat Assembly, the participation in the ceremony of the sixth edition of the Khalifa Award for Education in the UAE, educational operations for the conclusion of the second semester of the academic year 2022-23.
The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received the head and members of the Hajj pilgrimage mission, including officers, non commissioned officers, and members of the National Guard, to bid farewell to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed as they leave to Saudi Arabia to perform Hajj. Present were National Guard Staff Director Lieutenant General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, Director of the National Guard Commander Office Major General Abdul Rahman Rashid Al Saad, Advisor for Religious Affairs at the National Guard and Head of the Hajj Pilgrimage Mission, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Muhammad Al Hajri, and Head of the Presidential Court Division, Colonel Muhammad Abdullah Rabia. The National Guard Commander urged the members of the mission to show the spirit of cooperation and tolerance towards all the pilgrims, to implement what Islam states, and to represent Bahrain and the National Guard in the best way. He hailed the efforts of the Saudi government for facilitating Hajj to all pilgrims. On behalf of members of the mission, Dr. Sheikh Rashid thanked the National Guard Commander for his support of the National Guard pilgrims and his follow-up on their needs. The Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Azana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of the Asian Cycling Confederation, Osama Al Shafar, at El Wadi Palace. His Highness commended the prominent role played by JCC sports leaders in continental and international federations and organizations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed Mr. Osama to his second country, Bahrain, commending his efforts in developing cycling in Asia and strengthening cooperation among national federations. He stressed Bahrain's keenness to develop the cycling sport in cooperation with the Asian Cycling Confederation. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the major role played by Mr. Osama at the level of the Olympic movement, wishing him continued success. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, participated in the second ministerial meeting between the Arab League member states and the Pacific Small Island Developing States held in Riyadh. Dr. Zayani delivered a speech during the meeting in which he hailed the efforts of Saudi Arabia in bolstering relations, building partnerships, and supporting cooperation efforts between Arab and world countries. He added that the current global challenges and the deep rooted relations between Arab countries and Pacific Island states call for bolstering cooperation in commercial and industrial and developmental fields, as well as increasing opportunities to benefit from tourism, cultural, heritage and telecommunication sectors in the two sides. He added that Bahrain stresses the importance of strengthening multilateral cooperation between the two sides to achieve common interests. He expressed Bahrain's support of signing an MOU between the Arab League and the Pacific Island states to serve as the legal framework for cooperation between the two sides in various fields and the Kingdom's affirmation of the importance of intensifying in cooperation in facing global issues and challenges. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the, the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud. They discussed the strong fraternal relations between the two brotherly countries and the growth and development they witness at all levels and fields and ways to enhance joint cooperation to meet the goals and aspirations of the leaderships of the two countries. They also discussed Arab and regional issues of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs had participated in the 156th GCC Ministerial Council meeting at the GCC Secretariat General in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The meeting was chaired by Armani Foreign Minister and President of the current session of the Ministerial Council, Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Busaidi, with the participation of GCC Secretary General Jassim Mohammed al Bdawi. The, the meeting highlighted the implementation of the resolutions of the GCC Supreme Council and the Ministerial Council. The recommendation submitted by the Specialized Ministerial Committees in GCC Cooperation and the reports prepared by the General Secretariat on issues related to the Gulf Cooperation March. The Ministerial Council discussed regional and international developments and ways of bolstering GCC cooperation to serve the interests of the member states and maintain regional security and stability. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Secretary General of Digital Cooperation Organization, the DCO, Dima Yahya. The two sides discussed efforts made by the organization in applying technology to build digital economies which achieve sustainable goals and ways to enhance joint ties between Bahrain and the DCO in the field of digital transformation to develop the organization's programs and expand its membership. 
And in a statement marking World Day against child labor, the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil al Asumi, affirmed Bahrain's commitment to improving and protecting the rights of children and adolescents in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. Bahrain worked to implement programs and initiatives that provide a conducive environment for children and adolescents and prepares them for the future. Al Asumi said that these efforts include the implementation of the restorative justice for children law that aims to ensure the rights of children within the judicial system.